Welcome to another Wall Street Informer production on WSI TV. Welcome to another weekly update. The date is Sunday, February the 5th, and uh, the Sunday after the market closed on the Friday. Start off always with the very big picture here, multi-year chart of the S&P 500, major stock market for the USA, and therefore uh, probably the best of the world because everything else follows along with that. And the um, the ongoing theme, the identified sort of earlier this year is really continuing. Um, as we can see here, that 40 week, the things I look at, the 40 week moving average pointing up over a six month period and it is above the 70 week, that's the red line. The price of the overall market is um, healthily above the 70 week and the RSI, this little gauge up here, is uh, well and truly above the 55% line. So that is um, bull market all round, uh, which is really an extension of what has already been a very long bull market after this break right here. And uh, there's no reason to see it sort of slowing down uh, just yet. Uh, if I zoom into the um, just a few year weekly charts, it's week, week by week action here. Any if anyone can see that uh, that is a uh, that is an upwards trending market, and aggressively so. Um, due for correction, yes. Uh, when? Who knows? Let's look at the um, uh, daily chart here, sort of day by day action here. And uh, what happened earlier on is, is, as I mentioned before, is this sideways action is not is is quite healthy. It was just digesting its earlier gains, and as long as that channel held. That was fine. Um, what had happened here is you can see this line of resistance here at about 2280. It's a very good chart to learn from this. And look at how it was, you had this wedge, you had this upper line of resistance here, and then you had this diagonal line here, that trend line there. So you had this kind of upwards wedge. And when you see those formations in individual stocks as well, it's uh, it's a good bet that the you know the pre the upwards trending pressure is going to collide eventually with the sideways resistance and it's going to push it higher. So that's what happened here, uh, burst up higher and then it pulled back, but only just to form a resistance, which is now new support at two two eighty, and it behaved uh, very well technically, uh, broke out, pulled back, hung on to two two eighty, and then on Friday, which is very significant how the week ends, up it up it goes again. Uh, the Dow Jones is through the psychological barrier of 20,000. There it is. That is a, um, psychologically speaking, as I've mentioned before, you know, that's, that's pretty big news. And um, I'm, I'm beginning to see signs of like, the public might be starting to get be tempted back in into this stock market, which, as I've said before, was the kind of missing ingredient uh, that the bear needs, uh, that kind of, you know, needs to suck as many people in as possible, you know. Um, that's not to say we're going to have a bear market anytime soon, uh, but um, you know it hasn't really been a fully fledged bull market until you know everyone and their dog has got interested in buying stocks again. So that may be what's about to happen next. Short term trend though, which is what we're trying to look at for the week ahead, so we can try and be on the right side of things. Again, I've got no reason to say otherwise, but you know this is an upwards trending market. Um, so there's two plays way here. I'm looking for stocks that are going to go ride this trend, but I'm also putting, uh, getting some alerts set for stocks that, um, you know, if there's a pullback, they're going to get, I'm going to be a good entry point. And one thing to look at uh, is what I'm doing as well as of, yes, I'm getting in this trend. I'm getting, buying some, buying some, making some buy trades, riding the, uh, the wind in my sails upwards. Um, but to also, uh, if either I at this stage in the game, I am identifying some weaker stocks to sh maybe just have one or two weaker stocks to short uh, in my portfolio, and that will be a kind of hedge against any uh, pullback that might upset um, my long positions. So that's all for uh, the overall market update. I'll speak to the uh, members uh, separately in the uh, uh, private uh, video. Then I'll speak to you next time. Thanks for watching another Wall Street Informer production on WSI TV. Be sure to visit WallStreetInformer.com where you can become a member for free and gain instant access to the secrets of market millionaires via the Wall Street Informer Vault. So go ahead and claim this gift for free now at WallStreetInformer.com. <laughs>